Hi there, my name is Craig, Craig Seraphic, and I'm going to talk about how I edited this picture here, um, which was a live stage shot taken at a secret show in Sheffield, a burlesque show, um, at, the, at the start of March. And um, the, it was pretty horrible magenta lighting. And the image I actually ended up posting is uh, the edited image in, uh, image in Lightroom, which is this. And a few people have asked how I managed to do it. And so I'm going to try and reproduce the edit in, in Lightroom live now on video recording and um, show you guys basically. So this is the original image. Um, it was imported as a raw file off camera on the 5th of 2015. And first thing I'm going to do is we're going to crop it. I just want to get in there. Um, we're going to be around about there. That's the item of interest. So, as you can see on this image, lots of magenta. It's pretty much blown out. Uh, there's um, a fair bit of signal clipping going on. Um, but the, the actual image itself is pretty sound. What we, Although we've got probably 2 or 3% pixels actually clipped in magenta, um, I think we've still got something usable here. So the first thing we're going to look at is white balance. And white balance, we can take it up, take it down. I'm going to bring it back because I've done this before. And we're going to bring the tint off. And so already we can see something. We're getting a little bit more definition and uh, contrast within the image. I'm just going to boost the levels a bit initially because I need something I can work with. Take the highlights off. Now, what's the magic? Now, within Lightroom, we have something called, I find it, split toning. And uh, this is this section here. And this is the bit that allows us to adjust on a channel by channel basis the colors uh, within the image. And we want him to take out the magenta. So, what we're going to do is specifically adjust those I'm bringing the saturation up first so I can see what I can what I'm working with on the highlights I'm going to take the view away and I want to be around about there and on the shadows where you're going to see it's obviously a real difference I'm going to bring those up as well to a sort of greenish tone as you can see when I'm turning that magenta and boosting the greens in that channel bring the saturation back off a bit around about there. Uh, whilst I'm just in the section of lighting, I'm just going to sharpen that up, bring a bit of noise reduction in just to deal with some of the um, with some of the grain that's in ISO. Uh, I'll leave that for now. Right, so we're back up to the top. What I'm now going to do is we're going to look at this individual colour. So I'm in, I'm, in, uh, I'm in saturation here and I'm just going to look at this magenta slider and pull that down touch. I'm also going to pull the red off a touch. Now what you can see, I'm retaining the purples, I'm retaining the coloration in the background, this was a purple background, but you've got a pretty accurate skin tone going on there. That's basically the core of it. I usually bring in a bit of highlight priority on a bit of vignette around the corners, the edges, and going back up now, I'm just going to now start tweaking the image, which is pretty color corrected just to sort the exposure out the way I like it, boost the clarity a touch, drop the saturation, yeah, probably not as much as that, there we go, and round about there, that's how you take a completely blown out, horrible, throwaway magenta image and turn it into something usable. Thank you very much, this has been Craig Seraphic, I uh, hope you've enjoyed my little video.